10 Reasons Why It's Hard For A Smart Person To Be Happy Intelligent people are truly admirable, and we often look up to them as role models. But did you know that they're usually the least happy individuals among us? Why is that? We're about to figure that question out together. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so that you'll always be the first to see our new videos. Number 1. They tend to overanalyze things. Do you often find yourself thinking deeply about the details of your past? Well, people with a high IQ continuously analyze the events of their lives. While it might sound like a great way to be really insightful, over time this actually exhausts them. Their findings are often full of fear and disappointment, with real dilemmas constantly popping up in their heads. Writer and therapist Robert Taibbi recommends learning how to accept your right to make mistakes, recognizing them, and allowing others to make mistakes too. People are flawed, and we shouldn't make a big deal of it by criticizing or gossiping. You'll be much better off just drawing conclusions and moving on. Number 2. They're too demanding of themselves and others. Smart people know exactly what they want and how to get it. They tend to look at the world in an idealistic way, and it's difficult for them to give up or even just lower their expectations. This prevents them from getting real satisfaction from life and feeling happy because the reality of the world around them often just brings utter disappointment. There's a way to fight it, though. In his book, True Happiness, Martin Seligman, a psychologist at the University of Pennsylvania, recommends a daily gratitude exercise. It's simple. Just think of events, people, or things that make you feel grateful. It'll distract you from having negative thoughts and help you focus on the positive. You can also try keeping a diary and writing about the things you're thankful for every single day. Anytime you're feeling down, just open it and it'll put a smile on your face. Number 3. They can't form warm and friendly relationships. Everyone wants to have the love and understanding that comes with close relationships, but it's very difficult for intelligent people to talk to someone openly since they're often misunderstood. They want to talk about important and meaningful events, not frivolous small talk. According to scientists, socializing for highly intelligent people is often a more painful experience than being alone. And don't even get me started on dating. If this all sounds familiar to you, try to reconsider the people around you and get rid of the ones that drain you emotionally. Find ways to make new acquaintances whose company you genuinely enjoy and appreciate family members who sincerely love you. According to psychologist David G. Myers, this is the best way to get rid of the feeling of unhappiness. Number 4. They have mental health issues. Countless studies have confirmed that intellectuals often suffer from mental health problems. Scientists couldn't find a direct correlation here, but fact is fact. The habit of constant overanalyzing leads to frequent reflections about life, death, and the meaning of existence. All this, in most cases, leads to depression. But don't worry, there's a solution to this problem. It's actually pretty simple, too. Make an effort to help others more often even strangers. It's been proven that people who support others experience a sense of inner peace much more often than those who ignore other people's problems. Plus, this is a great way to distract yourself from the constant reflections and gloomy thoughts. It may help you find good friends as well, so go for it! Number 5. They feel like they have to meet others' expectations. It probably comes as no surprise that intelligent people excel academically. That's great and all, but even this can lead to some psychological issues. You see, big academic achievements lead to even greater future expectations from others. This load often proves to be an unbearable burden, especially for gifted children who were deprived of a real childhood early on. Well-known psychologist Mihai Csikszentmihalyi warns that excessive self-focus and anxiety about how we look in the eyes of others prevent us from living and having fun. He also advises us to treat learning and working like a game. Get fully involved in the process and try not to get stuck on the result. After all, it's not the destination, but the journey that counts. Number 6. They rarely make rational decisions. A recent study has shown that, in their daily life, intellectuals make just as many mistakes as everyone else. 
The researchers claim that people with above-average IQs make irrational decisions, are more prone to delusions, and rely on intuition. Scientist Igor Grossman of the University of Waterloo suggests that such people should talk about their problems in the third person in order to emotionally distance themselves. This reduces bias and allows them to reach the most logical conclusions. Try this method out sometime. It'll help you look at your problems from a different perspective. Number 7. They're not always successful. The assumption that every smart person is successful couldn't be more inaccurate. In fact, studies have shown that 85% of financial well-being depends on things such as individuality and the ability to communicate and negotiate. No big brain or certain IQ number is on that list. Nobel Prize winning psychologist Daniel Kahneman found that people are more willing to do business with someone they like and trust, even if they're offering a more expensive product. What's more, scientists say that emotional, moral, and physical intellect pay a much greater role in achieving financial success. If you're not sure whether or not you have these skills, learn to develop them yourself. Emotional intelligence is expressed by how well you can understand your feelings and the feelings of others. Moral intelligence is how you feel about your obligations and your honesty. The indicators of physical intelligence are how you take care of your body and appearance. Remember that having smarts might not always be enough, so work on other aspects of yourself if you want to be truly happy and successful. Number 8. They're more stressed out. Canadian researchers have found that highly intelligent people perceive simple everyday problems much more strongly. They have a habit of thinking over and over again about what's happening, and if it's something negative, it only leads to chronic stress and anxiety. Again, this is where psychologist Mihai Csikszentmihalyi's advice of learning how to temporarily disable negative feelings when we encounter a lot of problems comes in handy. That way we can calmly analyze a difficult situation and figure out how to get out of it. If you ever notice yourself falling into this negative spiral, stop yourself. Remember, you should solve your problems, not beat yourself up for having them. Number 9. They're more likely to have health problems. Do you usually go to bed pretty late? Well, according to scientists, this is a sign of above-average intelligence. Before you celebrate being a brainy night owl, you should know that this lifestyle is known to lead to heart disease. It's also been found that alcohol and tobacco abuse are more common in people with highly developed intelligence because of the high level of anxiety they experience. Motivational speaker, writer, and businessman Adam J. Jackson says it's good to learn how to relax properly, take a vacation, take a nap, or just allocate time daily just for doing nothing. Working out also does wonders for your body and soul. During physical activity, your body releases happy hormones, or endorphins, which greatly improve your mood. Number 10. They feel more comfortable alone. If being alone were an art, intelligent people could be called great masters. They can even feel uncomfortable being around their own friends. And this is simply because they're too focused on achieving their goals, and they usually choose doing that over spending time with people. If you're a loner by choice, that's fine and all, but you really shouldn't isolate yourself from others. Psychologists have proven that people who make time for loved ones feel much happier and satisfied with their lives. It's important to share your experiences and joy. It's the very process of communication that's important. So try to balance the time you spend alone and the moments you spend in someone's company. It'll make you feel better than you think. What's your opinion on this issue? Does high intelligence only bring problems? Or is it actually helpful? Tell us in the comments section below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family to discuss the topic together. Stay with us on the Bright Side of Life, and we'll see you soon!